Basic Operations In this demo, we will see how to navigate and browse within a tree, search for a function in the tree, view the call path to a function, and go to a function's definition. In addition to the main toolbar in the crystal window, the tree window has its own toolbar. Here, we see the call tree of main. The node main is currently selected. The current node is indicated by the blue background. We see that a few nodes are displayed in green color. The green color indicates that those function calls were found in ignored lines of code because of conditional directives such as if, if def, etc. If you do not wish to see the nodes from inactive lines of code, click the tree settings icon and then turn off show inactive nodes. When you click on a tree node, Crystal takes you to the corresponding function call in the code. A click on the node JS Define Functions takes us to the corresponding function call in main. A click on JS Define Object takes us to the function call in main. Let us expand a few nodes. A click on the plus sign expands the node JS Define Object. Here, a click on the plus sign expands the node define property. At this point, define property is the current node as indicated by the blue background. To expand the full subtree under the current node, let us right click anywhere in the tree window and then click expand full. The letter P before the node name indicates that it is a pointer to a function. The letter L before the function name indicates that it is a library function. Let us use the scroll bar to scroll down in the tree window. The question mark before the function name indicates that the function is undeclared. The letter A indicates that this function was assigned to the pointer to function or used to initialize a pointer to function in a declaration. A star indicates the function is recursive. A red X before the function name indicates that the function is declared but not defined. As we can see, the expanded tree is very long. Suppose we wish to find a function named sprintput in this very long tree. Let us search for sprintput in the tree. With the tree window being active, click the drop down list of the search panel. The drop-down list consists of all the functions that are used in the call tree, and using the keyboard, enter the first two characters, S, P, in the search panel. Now, double-click on sprintput in the drop-down list. The search will take you to the first occurrence of sprintput in the tree. Alternatively, you can use the keyboard to enter the function name in the search panel and press Enter. We see that the node sprintput is currently selected. Now, click on the search down icon to go to the next occurrence of sprintput. Notice that when a function name is selected in the tree, Crystal automatically highlights the other occurrences of that function in the tree. Let us click search down again. We see that there are several functions above the current node and we are not able to see the parent of the current node. To go to the parent node, click the up one level icon. To go back to the previous node, click the go back to previous node icon. The current node is located quite deep inside the tree. How can we find the call sequence from the root up to the current node? To view the call sequence, right-click anywhere in the tree window and click Show Path. Now we can see the call path from the root node up to the current node. A double-click on any tree node will take us to the code of that function. Let us double-click on sprintput. Now that we have seen the call path, let us view the whole tree again. Right-click anywhere in the tree window and then click on the Show Whole Tree. sprintput is currently selected node in the call tree. 
Suppose we need to find all the occurrences of S print put in the whole project. Right click anywhere in the tree window, then click Show Occurrences. Crystal opens the output window and displays all the occurrences of S print put, including even those occurrences that are not in the call tree of main. We just reviewed the basic operations on the call tree. In further demos, we will see advanced operations.